and we're good to go again. So uh, we are supposed to head to Sword Valley and we're just pretty much going to head close to it. But not all the way there. Is it here? I can never find the actual exit. There it is. I was right next to it and I still didn't see it. I like the other exit a lot better. All right, so we're going to head around this way. You could head the other way if you wanted to, uh, but I want to show off this area at least a little bit. There's a lot to see here, so I'm not going to see everything, not going to show it off just yet, but I will show off at least a little bit of what goes on around here. Uh, so there are pretty much three entrances into this kind of offshoot area. There's one that we went through, there's one over there, and then there's the exit that we're going to take, which is on the other side, on the left side. Uh, there's also a way to climb up there, but that's not where we want to go today, so we're going to avoid that. Where we're going is pretty much to the wrist. That is our goal. So we're going to keep on going down the arm until we get there. It's going to be a long journey, as you can see. It's over 1,200 meters or something away. Fortune Mallow. It's like Marshmallow, but it brings you good fortune. Still haven't found that one thing that I'm looking for. The Ether Plum, I think. Maybe we didn't. I just didn't catch it, but uh, I don't think so. More Costa Aries here. They're the ones that are out there during the day. Uh, they do have a friend sometimes that shows up with them during the day, but it doesn't look like he's shown up yet. There he is. This is a Zephyr Ories. We'll take him on. The enemy's weak. He's kind of the male of the pack, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, they're kind of like cows. Like halfway between like caribou and cow. Cattle. Something like that. Alright, who am I who am I targeting here? Yeah, these aren't going to be too difficult. You know what? Let's go for it. I don't think we'll be encountering anything too difficult around here, so let's go for it. We'll go for the backslash to start. Into the uh, Soaring Tempest. Not sure if we got both of them there. Into the Headshot. We're not finished yet. Damn right, there's more for me to do. Into the buster. How's this? Now we're working as one. Did I miss it? I wasn't expecting it. Shit, I missed it. I figured that since uh, since we killed it, it wasn't gonna bring forward another one, but fair enough, it did. Not that big of a deal. We make a great team. Anyway, we got more, uh, got more of it filled up. The, uh, the party gauge filled up because of it. Frozen Aries meat. That sounds like it's important. Already pre-frozen for our easy storage needs. Pretty much everything around here came frozen, though. So there's another one there. Not that I care about it. We saw it. We tackled it. We're ready to move on. So, we're pretty much... Ooh, Slobos. Our first Slobos. This is a Crowley Slobos. There are two of them. These guys are typically pretty difficult, but these are low level, so we shouldn't have too much of a problem with it. Anytime you want to get aggro, that'd be great, down down. Or, or that could happen. And I don't think I hit that guy. I'm doing a lot of damage to him. He's not doing too much to me if he hits. Anytime, Dunban. Do I got... Still? There we go. Took you long enough to pull aggro, Dunban. Nice job. Let's press on. He's not getting the, the aggro that I wanted. A Slobos Ice Rock. That's going to be necessary. This is a Slobos Ice Rock? We got two like Pepino asked for. Now Pepino and N be happy. 
I believe those are only a probably as well. Either way, we're ready to move on. Was there another one around here? It's hard to see sometimes. The treasure chests are around here. All right, anything? Not that I can see. All right, we're moving on then. We're gonna move on further south and down. Actually, we do wanna go down this way. That's fine. That's fine. Our eventual goal is over to the west, as you can see there. Uh, but it's a little complicated of a path to get there. Oh, you guys are high enough level to actually aggro on me. Now, I think that's a location or a landmark over there, so I do want to get it. And, of course, there's a couple guys guarding it. We'll take them on. No big problem here. Plus, I could need some ice rocks. Some, yeah, Slobo's ice rocks out of them. Get behind him. There we go. We're getting some affinity between everybody. It's going to take some time. But eventually we're working on it. The easiest way to get affinity between people is through battles, unfortunately. I thought that the gifts were going to be better, but uh, I'm not getting as many collectibles as I thought this time around. Because I know what I'm doing. Uh, when you know what you're doing, you don't get as many collectibles. I don't know how that works out. Keep on going like this, guys. Yeah, of course we win. Fine quality belt. Hoping for that rock, though. There we go, Slobos Ice Rock. And then we can head all the way here where we can find No Fall Tower. Uh, this is a good spot to keep in mind for a couple collectibles. Notice how slippery it is around here. This is like an ice rink, and I missed it. There we go. Got myself a mud squirrel, which I think is the thing that I recommend going here for, but uh, you don't mean, need too many of them. You only need one. And yeah, we'll just avoid those guys. I don't need to take them on. Took on their friends already. As you can see, we're almost there. Keep in mind that I cut out a significant portion of this level. Just an absolute ton of this level. We'll, we will explore it in detail in a bit. Forgot what I was trying to do there. I want to look at the skills. I want to check one last time. Good. We need to move you over. Reduces weight of equipment on Dunban, natural born warrior. That has been learned. Uh, let's move over to overwhelming. Increases aggro drawn when dealing damage. Really, all of these are really good for him. Uh, but we'll move there. And then we have Adrenaline for Sharla. Increases tension when taking damage. Uh, she already learned Ether Unleashed. Increases Ether when HP is at half. Uh, Ricky needs to move on. He has learned AP for all. Steal AP with Yoink and share it with the party. We need to learn Love Sun. And you already learned the second one there too. Heavyweight Expert improves Ether defense the more... Heavy equipment is worn. She's now already on Unadorned Beauty. Strength, Ether, Agility, and HP up if no gems are equipped. I went over this one a little bit before. Part of me says it's not worth the effort, uh, but it is 20%. But I don't know. I like what's on those gems. So that's that. Good thing I checked. All right, let's head where we need to go. It is you. Hey, that's Fiora! Young heir to the Monado. We meet again. Fiora! Fiora? Is that my name? Then you... you know this body? So it's true. 
You really don't remember us at all. Fiora, listen! If nothing else, you must remember your family. That's Dunban over there! Family? There is family. Wielder of the Monado. There is a matter I must speak to you about. Fiora! What was that? You killed my father! Get him! Get away from her! No, no, let's all calm down. If I slip, I might mess up her hair. You... You're disgusting! Would you be so kind and hand over that dangerous toy you have? I could take it after I smash you all to a pulp. <laughs> but we wouldn't want that, would we? All right. You can have it. But only if you let her go. There's a good boy. Always eager to please, Shulk. <laughs> What's your... How's it going, Dunman? Is that... it might be but you're to blame for all this I can't tell you how badly I wanted this sword has this puny boy even figured out how it works yet what are you willing to do would you even kill a Holmes to beat us you dare ask that of us why did you betray us to why did you kill our friends at the colony? Why? You wanna know? Because it's your home. You piece of... Stay where you are. That thing works by remote. So, unless you want me to put a hole in her neck... So what's it to be, weaklings? <laughs> Grovel at my feet and beg! <laughs> we will not bow to you! Will you hit back, guy, you face? You'll pay for that, princess! You're a traitor, Mumkar, and you're not getting away. And it's boss time. We are up against Mumkar. Now, I know it's been a long time since we've seen Mumkar, but Mumkar was the guy that was with Dixon and Dunban at the beginning of the game. Remember, they fought side by side in Sword Valley, and then Mumkar was a chicken. This is what happened to him. He was the guy with the claws. You knows how he still uses the claws. As you can see, he is actually pretty high level, considering. He's level 48. Uh, I don't have that this fight should be too difficult, uh, but if you are struggling, uh, pretty much enchant. Enchant is your friend. As long as Dunban is holding aggro, I have... I have hopes that I'll be able to pull this off pretty easily. Just keep enchanting. And you should be good to go. Sure, let's go for that again. 9,000. Let's make sure the enchant is up. And then we'll get a shadow eye out before I do. And the, the chain attack. Right. Shadow eye, chain attack. Let's go. Not in the right position, but backslash. Blossom dance it is. Damn, that's strong. No, she was cooling down. That's not fair. But we win nonetheless. Get him down to a quarter health and you win. Yeah. 
you fought beside me? S Sword Valley! Why did you change sides? Uh, why the Vekon? You're as blind as you were then! I wanted you dead for years! What's happening? Is the Bionis moving? I wanted to get to Monado so I could be the new hero! Is that it? That's the pure reason you've killed all those innocent people! Ravage the home! I love this body! <laughs> the power! down and all that you have become, you wretched fool. The Monado will stop you, and then you will know the shame of all that you have done, traitor! Shut your mouth and come on! Uh. That light! It's not like the other Mechon. You are right, heir to the Monado. This is the strongest Mechon ever built. Controlled by me, Egil, leader of Mechonis, an agent of Maynet. Leader of Mechonis? So you're the one who controls the Mechon? I am he. We fight to free the world from the tyranny of the Bionis. Why? Why do you trap bombs in machines? What do you want from us? Why make us fight for you? Your questions do not concern me. I must return with this one. Fiora! Get your hands off her! Fiora! If you want her, come and get her. You are more than welcome on the comet. Come and visit any time, Dunban! Munka! We're coming! And we won't give up! Find us, Monado, Sword of the Bionic. We will meet you on the battlefield. Fiora, we will find you! Fiora! They ask if we want to save progress. Once again, the answer is always yes. So, lots of stuff for is going on right now. We did find Egil, the one that they spoke of. Fiora. Shulk. She's... Get it together, Shulk. <sighs> we ain't got time to be hanging around here. I don't know what's happened to her, but that was Fiora. No doubt about it. You know what that means? She ain't dead. We gotta get her back. Get her back. Right. We've come too far to give up now. Then we'll go to Mechonis and find Fiora. Just beyond there lies Sword Valley. The Mechon flew in the direction of Galahad Fortress. Fiora may be there. Will you pursue, Shulk? Yes. We will get Fiora back. And we take over. Interesting stuff happening. Probably the one that I noticed the most is that Alvis ex said that he would explain everything to us. And then he totally didn't. Uh, but we want to go west here just enough so that we can find the landmark. It better show up here. I don't want to go to the next area. 
How far is it? There it is. Jeez, that was a ways down. Uh, but that is the Bionis' wrist that we have reached, and that is going to be our stopping point here. We are going to head back to optional stuff. Uh, that is going to take some time. Uh, not necessarily as long as it took last time we did optional stuff, but this is going to take some time as well. So let's quickly talk about what happened in the plot there. Uh, we finally met Egil. He's apparently the leader of Makanis, and he seems to think that uh, Fiora is pretty important. Uh, also, Mumkar, even though he has transformed into a Mechon of some kind, uh, seems to have all his memories intact, although Fiora does not, so it raises some interesting questions about that. Why, why the disparity between those two? But we do need to head across the sword to the Mechonis, but we'll take care of that next time. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. I've been Baller Scoop. I've been joined, as always, by my Sacrifice the Bionis for Fiora squad of Shulk, Dunban, and Sharla. Ryan, Ricky, and Melia were along with us today, and Alvis was a guest. Significantly less with us today, but he was here. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.